Hey everybody, it's Absolutely Frost here, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to share your hard drive over your network so other people can see it. Um, so first thing that you're gonna do, oh yeah, before we start, um, if you're on Windows 7, uh, you must have Windows 7 Professional or Ultimate. Home Premium does not do this, so um, that's a little disadvantage because most people have Home Premium. Um, and Windows 8, I have Windows 8 Professional, because uh, I, I don't know. But it seems to work just fine. And I've shared multiple hard drives before on, on, on Windows 8. So if you're, on, if you're on Windows 8 Professional, or Windows 7 Ultimate, or, or Windows 7 Professional, well, this will work. Okay, first things first, you go to your uh, File Explorer. Then you go to local disk, or no, you know what? Just just choose your your hard drive. Let me take this one. You go to properties, and then you go to sharing, advanced sharing, share folder. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna leave mine as an I. I don't really care. Then you could limit the amount of users. You go to permissions to to uh, let certain users get full control. Or they can just read it, which means that they can just see the documents. And then you have change, which is that they can write to it and change. Excuse me. Um. So yeah, uh, you could just add users here and, and stuff, or you could just put it as everyone, so everybody on your network can see. Yeah, I like to give everyone full control because I'm I'm nice. <laughs> um, hit apply okay close and now now that that you've shared your hard drive um do you need to go to your other computer go to map network drive uh you could browse over here to find your computer in the network but that takes a little long uh the best the best way of doing it is knowing what your computer name is so you do backslash backslash Mine's gonna be Simone PC. Backslash. Um I so um once that's done. Um I'm not really sure how you find your name of your computer, although you should know it, because um when you install your Windows, um you you type in your computer name. Um, then you go. Excuse me. Um, yeah, you find your drive, and there you go. Now that it's mounted, you can go inside it and change stuff, and it's really cool. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, to find your computer name, you go to properties. And blah blah blah, full computer name here. That's mine. If you go to change settings, then um, no, okay, yeah, it's so that's your computer name. Um, I think it works better when your computer name is in all caps because that's what I did, and it works, or maybe you could just keep it. Um, so thank you for watching. And have a great day. Bye.